Hello and uh, welcome to this introductory video. Before we begin coding our game and we actually start with our application, I thought I'd quickly show you what our game is about, who is the, who could benefit the most from this game and this application development and what's the process in which we're going to go through. Uh, the game we're going to be developing is actually this. It's quite a straightforward. It's a sliding puzzle game in which user has to slide the different you know buttons or labels or blocks or tiles in order to get to the to the full shape of the game so essentially if i play this around and i find the right numbers each of them becomes green which means i found that one correctly so on and so forth and if i remove them the color goes back to to dark gray there is a timer in our game that counts how long it's taking to play the game so far and of course there is a reset button that helps us reset our game so the way we're going to develop this game is I'm actually going to go through the development with you as if I haven't done it before. So I will actually go ahead and program something and then I build on top of that one. And maybe at times, you know, I will end up, uh, you know, changing something simply because that is how a real programming happens. I don't want to give you the answers right off the beginning. I don't want to go through the code essentially line by line and explaining, uh, well, we added this line for whatever reason. What I want to do is I want to actually write the code as if I was doing it for the very first time. And you know, you might make some mistakes, but along the line, we, along the way, we learn why we do things in a certain way. Now, the people who could benefit the most from this course are if you are new to programming in general, or if you are new to uh, Swift and Xcode and iOS programming. Also, if you're a programmer from another uh, programming language, or perhaps if you know some Swift and you just want to understand uh, the logic behind you know, a, a simple puzzle game. Now, in saying that, I should also say that uh, I, during this course, I expect that you have some basic understanding of doing things in Xcode. So essentially, when I say I want to use the main storyboard, I want you to have an understanding of what these different objects are, or at least how we could add them. Uh, this isn't a very beginner course. This isn't the course in which I will explain, for instance, what a variable is. This is a course that I will just use them. Of course, we won't go into very, you know, advanced details. For the most part, we use some outlets, some variables, uh, some arrays, and some, you know, basic, you know, arithmetic operations. Uh, I don't think it's going to be very difficult, but it really helps if you have some basic understanding of Swift programming or any other programming. And uh, that's about that. I hope you enjoy the course. Uh, let me know if you have any questions throughout, the, throughout your programming. And uh, I hope to see you at the finish line.